it's not a lot of time, so I gotta make moves. Bye-bye. Good day, my name is Bonus Lamini from the North Coast Korea. So today we are meeting one of the promising stars in Palito, Tretin. They call him Tretin. The Zimbabwean is a very promising uh, musician that we have around here. So today we're going to meet him and get to know him better. Please do join me. I was listening to your music on my way here, nice yeah. tracks bro, but just tell me something, just tell me about yourself, who you are, where you're from and where did you grow up and yeah, just tell me about yourself. Oh, well 310, which is my stage name was Tinashe mm. Gutsa, born 1991, I'm originally from Zimbabwe, yeah, but uh, once I finished my high school I came here to South Africa, stayed here for yeah, ever since, I only go, get to go home, visit them once in a while. So I'm, I've basically, uh, yeah, I've become South African now. Uh, yeah, and yeah, that's basically it now. I'm so much passionate about music. Started that a long time ago. You're doing hip hop, right? Yeah. So, so I wouldn't just call it hip hop. I would say, yeah. I like to look at myself as a musician because okay. I don't only do hip hop. Okay. I have a studio at home. I make music. So you can tell me to do something that's close to R&B. I can do something like that. A little bit of dance, or I can do that. So I'm, uh, I like to put myself in this bracket where I'm, I say I am a musician. A musician. Because if, if I like something, I would definitely work with it. I'm not always going to be rapping to it. It's, for example, if you do, lis do listen to some of my songs, I'm doing that all by myself where you find that I'm singing at the same time. I'll also go in our rap at the same time, so yeah. And for how long have you been doing this? Uh, I think, you know, everyone asks me that question and I, I, I look back at it. I think, I would say, I'll tell you since I've been, since, since I was a kid. Because when I was in primary school, I was in the school choir. But back then I wasn't writing any of my music or anything of that sort. I was just mm. still like... It's almost like when the universe is trying to show you what you have inside you, but you don't even know it yourself. It's just like you're just taking along and it's just happening. And that was that. So I, I went into the school choir. I was in the school choir, used to sing, and we, we won some accolades for that. And then, yeah, and then after a while, I just, you know, we started doing the whole cassette. We still had the cassette tapes. Yeah. You know, when you wait for the beat to get to the end, and you try to get that empty part of it, so you can just like try to write and rap to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went through that whole phase too. And I just started writing because I'm so much of a good storyteller. And where do you get your, your inspiration for, for the song you write? I mean, it's, it's crazy. It's, music is weird. Sometimes you could just be walking and you look at something or, and then it inspires you to write a song about something or you could be watching TV and then you see there's a story about something and then you're like, wow, I've gone through that type of experience and then you start writing about it. it it's weird. Or you go to a Joe one time and you have the best time of your life and you want to tell it to the whole world. What is the best way to tell it to the world? Mm. Luckily, I have that platform where I can just make a song about it and everyone is like, wow. I'll tell you, it's, it's like the toughest industry. Mm. And I've learned to do it for the love of it not for making money out of it or saying, okay, no, this is how I'm going to feed my family. Mm. Now I just do it for the passion of it. It's a hundred times where I sat down and I told myself, okay, listen, I'm not really making much money from this. So what is the purpose of doing it? So you start pursuing other things, but then I'll still find myself the next day, I'm, I'm writing music and I'm releasing it. So to me, it became a thing where it's uh, enjoy giving it to the people like and i enjoy it when someone says you know what i listened to your music and i loved it i listened to your art and it spoke to me that is the beauty of it and that is the thing that just keeps you going it's like you know what there is that 
I'd rather have one person come to me and say, you know what, I love it, that song did something to me, than to say, okay, no, I want to be famous and have all these millions in my bank because the future is, I mean, we, we don't know where it's going to take us and your path is not my path. So I just yeah. never let that discourage me. Yeah. But do you wish that one day you can get a recording deal? No, not really. I don't want a record deal. I wish I would build my own company. Because record deals are ridiculous. Everyone wants a record deal until it's put in, in front of him. I've heard guys that wanted to give me record deals. Mm. And then you, you look at it and then they, what? You, you're going to be stuck with someone for two, three years making the music they think you should be making? That's what record deals is. It changes you 100% into, that's what a lot of people don't understand. Yeah, when I was young, I thought that was the thing. You, you, you get a record deal, you get offered all these millions and everything, but what happens? So a record deal is almost like a credit card. So I give you this type of money for now. Then, yeah, you're able to go out there, make as much music, make your videos and everything. But after a certain while, you have to, when you start selling those, the, the music, you pay it back, right? You pay it back with a little bit of interest. So you, and you pray to God that you really sell.